We're off to see tree number three, and very soon you'll see where it is. That's it, Greg Gunnog. So as you can see from the sign, back on the trail of the Welsh Tree of the Year 2016. Here at Grugunog, where I've been about, I came here about five years ago and met uh, Welsh politicians talking about proper protection for ancient trees. It hasn't happened yet. <laughs> anyway, we're going to see the, the best oak pollard uh, on the site, possibly a 500 year old oak pollard, so a culturally significant tree yet again. Let's go and see the people. As usual, come in here, you get to go through beautiful countryside all the way up the drive, um, past the gate lodge, and see lovely little old trees in all the nooks and crannies of the woodlands here, and some sequoias. My friend Mark would love these. Anyway, let's go. So we're off to see the oak tree at Gregunog Hall, one of the candidates in Welsh Tree of the Year, 2016. So the dogs are on the trail of the the big oak. Have you got a name for it? Is it just the Grugunag oak? Yeah. Okay, so we're at Grugunag. What's your name and what do you do here? I'm Karen and I'm the director. Um, we have a beautiful estate here. This is the wonderful old gnarled Grugunag oak, which is part of the grain wood, the ancient wood, which is a site of special scientific interest. Um, it's been here 600 years perhaps and we like to encourage people to come up and give it a big Cutch, as you can see, it's made for cutching. It is made for cutching, <laughs> and it's got its arms out here it's got its arms out. and here. <laughs> the Gregunag oak will give you a lovely cuddle or cutch, as you say here. That's fantastic. Well, it it's also been has a some really important lichen on it, which oh, is right. one of the reasons that um, that this is a triple SR. Right, and that uh, you've had Ray Woods in, obviously here we to have, old Ray. I think he's on. <laughs> He's been around every tree in Wales, I suspect, yeah, sometimes. The little black dots are the most important, apparently. They're almost oh, invisible. Right. I'm not sure that's exactly an right. example, but it's But it similar. has got some nice, like, massive old pollarded tree. Henry VIII era. OK, Karen's going to measure it just to double check on their girth. OK, that's fantastic. Come round to meet you. We're measuring it normally at 1.5 meters, but we're going here for the narrowest point. And this is going to be six. Yeah, it's six. So it's virtually six meters exactly. Fantastic. The trees here are numbered individually with uh -huh. the lichens um, tested and catalogued. Uh -huh. Very scientific um, um, level of research has gone into the woods. Here. Yeah, yeah. And this tree is very significant as well in, in the terms of Welsh tree culture because this is the tree that we met under three to five years ago with a lot of Welsh AMs to yes, discuss absolutely. proper protection yeah. for ancient trees. In, in and I'm allowed to say they still haven't done it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see with this new lot of AMs. Maybe. Okay, you were saying, Karen, um, yeah? Wood Cottage um, is a traditional Welsh longhouse. It's very lovely. Um, it's an example of um, an old ancient farm. Um, we had it listed as a, as a building a few years ago. But one of the most interesting things about it, apart from all its original hayloft and items like that, is that it's got lichen on the elm boards of the cottage, which has jumped from the trees of the great wood and started to establish themselves on the building. Fantastic. That, that shows you the significance of of groupings of old ancient Absolutely, trees and how, how important mm -hmm. and how important wood pasture is that this sort of landscape is. Absolutely, and how rare. The, um, one of the reasons we believe that the lichen has survived here is because of the wind flows from the West Midlands mean that the pollution of the Industrial Revolution from places like Ironbridge never got this far. Fantastic. And soon it was time to go, but not before we found a stunning fallen tree. That was made for trees. It's a dog den. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Well done, dogs. There you deserve, deserve a medal for that.